Hello everyone. Today we will be working on making this e-commerce app with all the animations you see now. I hope it looks good. We have this two pages to work on and I will be making a part by part video. So stay tuned for the next ones. Specifically, in this video, we will be working on this simple bottom navigation bar. Without any further wait, let's get right into the video and do it. I have already created this homepage stateless widget with safe area and scaffold widgets in it as default. Now I will include stack widget as I want to have this navigation bar positioned in the bottom. First thing first, we need to make this outer white container with a top border. We must provide height and width for it to be visible. Let me do it. Right, now it is visible. The next step is to create the assets folder so that we can import all the icon assets we need. I have pasted the images required for navigation icons. Let me quickly add assets slash icons folder into the pubspec YAML file. I have created a separate file for bottom navigation model. The bottom nav item requires three things, a name, image string, and a color. Now let's create a new model named bottom nav which extends change notifier. This is used to maintain states of the bottom nav item, like out of five icons, which one is selected, and make the rest unselected. Now let me also create bottom nav items list to store details of every icon. Let me paste the rest of the icon's detail. Now in the constructor, we have to initialize the selected item variable with the first item on the list, as we need the first icon to be selected at the beginning. Then we need a method to change the selected item variable every time icon is clicked with notify listener. Now let's use change notifier provider widget to listen to the state changes. For that, we need provider package. Let's add that into the dependency. Okay, done. Then we need to provide the bottom nav object to the create parameter and create clickable icons under the builder parameter. Inside the row widget, we will add a column. As we need to arrange two widgets in vertical manner, one is icon image itself and a small circle at the bottom. Inside the image widget, the key parameter must be provided as we need to animate it. We will be animating these icons in the later step. Even if we refresh the output now, the icon assets are not loaded yet, so we need to close and open the output again. Okay, now it is visible. Our next step is to create the circle at the bottom, which will indicate whether the icon is selected or not. For now, it is showing for all the widgets. Let's include the states and animation to the icons now so that only the selected icon will be highlighted with color and will have that small circle at the bottom. 
In order to do that, we will be using context.watch so that whenever the notify listener function is called, this will refresh the build method. Okay, now you can see the home icon is highlighted with blue color. Let's animate the small circle in a way that it will appear only when it is selected. Okay, as a last step, we will include inkwell widget so that we can change the state of selected item variable on tap. All right, this is the output. Thanks for watching. We'll meet soon in the part two video of this series.